for anybody who's in the service business, are there any clients that you would pass on? Are there any clients that you would say, you know what, some money costs too much. Keep your money, it's not worth it. So 17 years into business, I'll tell you that some of my biggest mistakes have been working with clients I shouldn't have worked with. Anybody who, you know, I, I tell all my senior executives at 5W Today, one of the most important business books I highly recommend is a business book called The No Asshole Rule. Mm -hmm. If you haven't read The No Asshole Rule, you should read it. Great, great, great business book. It teaches you about being tough and being strong, but not being an asshole, right? And so for many years, I think at 5W, I didn't understand that. Okay, I didn't understand that the client is not always right. Okay, I hate to break it to you. Hold on, can you look in the camera and say that? The client is not always <laughs> right. The customer is not always right. I think the reality is, is that there's a misconception the customer's always right. The customer's not always right. They're just not. And so I won't work with assholes at the simple rule. Assholes, you know, can be broadly defined, but somebody who's always nasty and always difficult, I think it took me a while to learn it, but those people are the least likely to pay their bills are the most likely to be awful to staff, and they're just constantly difficult people. Um, through the years, I've made a mistake of working on certain types of clients that bring a backlash for working for us. Um, I say on camera, I worked for Girls Got Wild for years. If you all remember Joe Francis, Girls Absolutely. Got Wild. Yep. He was a client for years. And I thought at the time, when I took him on, I could make him the modern day Hugh Hefner. That was the goal. So you all think about who, 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 who Hugh Hefner was. You know, Hugh Hefner was an icon, right? Hugh Hefner was not a pornography guy. He was a, a, a cultural icon, right? I thought I could make Joe Francis that. Um, the reality is I couldn't for a lot of different reasons I don't want to discuss on camera, but he's not a good guy. Um, I don't want to say a lot more than that, but I'm not a big fan of, uh, of people that are always difficult. And, um, and so again, it's a different of a perception there versus a perception here. They're two different things. Um, and so I made a mistake working on a bunch of clients that I thought would be something different. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the growth process. I recently turned down, in the last 24 months, I don't want to say who, probably the biggest news story in America. And I'm happy I turned it down for a variety of different reasons. But I think you're 17 years in. Everybody knows 5WPR. You're now one of the top 10 PR firms in the USA, you can make that decision now. But for somebody well, I who's still you, trying to come up. I would say if you're trying to come up, you got to do things differently than you do today. So the, the question is, what's more important, quantity, quality? The most important thing, first of all, is being able to sleep with yourself. The most important person you sleep with is yourself. Okay? You need to be able to live with yourself with the decisions that you make. Mm -hmm. So I have a... I have a friend who works on something I would never work on, but he's okay with it in my business. I would never work on what this person's working on, but he's okay with working with what he works on, and he generally is. So we say quantity or quality. I don't know if it's quantity or quality. By the way, Prez, there's entrepreneurs out there that are happy waking up at 10 a.m., working until 3 o'clock, and they're happy with that, and they're making whatever they're making, in four or five hours a day and they're lifestyle entrepreneurs and that works for them. I don't know if I call them entrepreneurs. I call them people who just don't want a boss. That could be. It's, it's just some, you know. You know but, but, but in today's I can go world, drive an Uber. I, I, I don't know if I qualify as an entrepreneur, you know. There's different definitions of what, maybe they're contractors, but there's people that, you're right, don't want a boss for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And so for them, they're, they're happy not, you know, not having a boss and not needing to go to work in the morning. A lot of it is about what you want, right? A lot of it is about, I'm 45, I don't need to keep going to work a zillion hours a week, a, a week like I do, and it depends on what you want. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.